Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, I want to talk about RFID pockets in tool holders. Not every tool holder has one. Some have them as design standards, some don't. So let's take a few minutes and go over which tool holders have it as part of their design standards and which ones you may have to add a pocket to if you want to put an RFID chip in it. The standards that govern the design for HSK tooling and for Capto tooling list adding a bailiff pocket as an option. That's why you may pick up anybody's HSK tool holder and you might spin it around and not see that RFID pocket machined into your tool holder. Well, that doesn't mean your manufacturer made it wrong. The actual pocket itself is an optional part of that standard. Now, where is that pocket and why is it there? Well, on almost all HSK tool holders, Form A primarily, you are gonna see that there is a 10 millimeter pocket machined in the flange and it's 90 degrees off from your keyways. So it's located right here, nice and easy to see. Now that's made for your standard 10 millimeter RFID chip. Now, you can pick the manufacturer you wish to work with, but most of them will glue right in there with the proper epoxy. Now, what about holders that don't have these? Because there are some series that don't have them, or like I mentioned, manufacturers that maybe haven't added them. That should be something you should be able to ask the manufacturer that you're getting your tools from. Hey, I need that RFID pocket for future growth of my company. They should be able to put that in at no charge or very minimal and with very minimal delay on getting that. Now, just like the HSK standard, the Capto standard also lists the RFID pocket as an option and you can see it's located right here above the notch on the polygon taper that gives you a positive reference point for where that should be. It is also a 10 millimeter pocket and that's good for any of those RFID chips you want to use. Now, both of these standards give you the option and location of exactly where it should go. But what happens with steep taper tools? On steep taper tools, whether it be CAT, or BT, and there's the only two I'm going to cover here, the design standards don't cover where to put or how to place the pocket for an RFID chip. So a lot of that comes down to you, the end users, telling us, the manufacturer, if you want to have an RFID chip in your tool holder, exactly where you want it placed. Most of the time, it's placed in the dimple on the cat holder makes it very easy to glue in there. In our case, we use an adapter that changes our balancing hole into an RFID pocket, and that's all glued and epoxied into place properly. And then it would be counterbalanced either by design or ran through the balance the machine for final balance, depending on what you would want us to do. Now, what about a BT holder though? Well, a BT holder has the symmetrical drive keys. And on this one, it is solely up to you on where you want that placed. We've had customers that want them placed in the keyway. We've had customers that want them placed up on the body of the tool holder itself. So when you or your shop is looking to move into RFID tool holder tracking, make sure you know exactly where you want to have that pocket. I would probably go ahead and create a drawing or ask for a drawing from your tool holder manufacturer of where that pocket is located or where you want to put it so you have some reference point going forward. Either way it goes, RFID is a very good way for tracking tools. In the future, we will do a short tech chat video on how it works and why you might want to think about it. 